We're celebrating lives that are not among us, always with us, but not physically with us. And so we, we celebrate, but it brings us sadness because we're missing someone we love. But we also are celebrating the beginning of life. The welcoming of, of a new little person, a new bundle of potential into our midst, into our family, with baptism. I, I hesitated to uh, with my message today because it talks about seeds. Oh, I lost it. Yeah. It talks about seeds, and I know there's an awful lot of you out there that wish that you were putting the seeds in the ground. And maybe have some, but not near as much as you would like to have. But by the same token, we understand that unless we plant the seed, we don't get the crop. The song that we sang at the beginning of the service uh, is, is one that was a new one into the hymnal when it was printed many, many years ago. The new hymnal is now like almost as old as our wedding. <laughs> Almost, not quite. But it's a wonderful song, and it was written in a time of loss. And you can hear that in the lyric. In the seed there is a, you know, there is, in the seed there is a flower and a bud and apple tree, all this, you know, but there is a flower and a seed, the apple tree, all that, you know, there will be this to come. And it, and it sort of looks into a future without someone. But you know, we need to remember that really, it looks to a future with people now. John, his gospel says it this way, I tell you truly, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it's just a single seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Now that's not just talking about our physical death, it's talking about our willingness to give ourselves up to Christ. But I don't want to go with that. I want to get into the idea of what are we planting? I know, I know a lot of the farmers who say nothing. That's what we're planting right now. Nothing. But but the thing is, we need to be determined what we're planting. As we celebrate these lives and the memorials that they have given and, and the good that will continue to live and grow because of their family, their friends, and of them. Planting something special. We're planting something that is not going to wither and fade. It's, it's something that's going to last. But we never know. The song says, in the bulb there is a flower. You know, I'm no gardener at all, and I'm really terrible with flowers. And when I look at a picture like this, what I see is a whole bunch of different onions. That looks like onions to me. I, I'm sorry, it doesn't look like a flower potential. But to someone who understands bulbs and flowers, they can look at the picture and say, oh, this is a tulip, and this is that, and this is that, and, and all of those things. They know, and not all of us do. We don't always know what it is we're planting. But God does. God knows what we're planting. The same way with, with seeds. In the seed, there's an apple tree. Well, I know what an apple seed looks like because I eat, I eat apples. But, you know, if you threw a handful of assorted seeds in front of me, I'd be clueless completely because they look like seeds. They don't look like apple trees or peach trees or plum trees or strawberry bushes or anything. They just look like seeds. But God knows. God knows what they look like. We plant the seed and we trust that God will help it to grow. In Mark, they talk about planting the seed and it says that, you know, we, we plant, we water, but God gives the growth. We do our part, but God gives it the growth and it grows as God sees fit in the seed. What seeds are we planting in the children and the young people of our families of our church of our community that's the question that's far more important than what the seed looks like we need to plant the proper seeds we need to plant the seeds that will give them a legacy 
one of my friends in uh, North Dakota, was serving at First United Methodist Church of Bismarck. And they decided they wanted something different. They wanted to have the name of their church explain what it was they were doing as a church. And so after much prayer and discussion, this is the name they chose, Legacy United Methodist Church. A gift from the past that helps create a better future. And friends, that's what every church should be doing. Giving a gift from the past, from the times long before us. Now, I'm not just talking like grandparents and great-grandparents. I'm talking back into Moses and Abraham and, and Adam and Eve. That gift that God has given us through the past that we have lived through that helps us create a better future in our children and in their children and in their children to come. One of, uh, one of the passages that's, that kind of always helps me remember what it is I'm supposed to be about is a passage that the United Methodist Church, the denomination in the Dakotas, uses as their mission statement. And that is uh, found in Matthew, chapter 28, verse 19. It says, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. We've changed it a little bit to say make disciples of Jesus Christ for the transformation of the world. That's the change, but it goes on in this one, and it says, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I'm with you to the end of the age. Reminding them of the past so they can have and be a part of a better future. The folks that we celebrate today, the folks that we will celebrate tomorrow as we read the role of those that have died, those that gave their lives for this country, for us, those are all gifts from the past. Some of them are memories, and that's wonderful. Some of them are physical gifts. We receive wonderful memorials and in money and things, and, and those kinds of things will help us as we bring Christ's love into the future. The latest is what every church should be leaving for its remembrance. What are we handing down? What are we handing off to our children? We offer them a wonderful gift. The world. And God gave that world to us. He, he said to Adam and Eve, be fruitful and multiply. And take control of this world. I give this place to you. And we're offering it to our children and to their children and, and to their children after that. We offer them a hand for strength, for courage, for wisdom. We offer them that wonderful gift. So what is it that we're planting? Are we planting and teaching the love of Jesus Christ to our children? Are we planting and teaching that sometimes it isn't popular to follow Christ? Sometimes it isn't popular to do the right thing? Sometimes we might even be chastised for doing that? Are we teaching them courage and wisdom? Are we giving them the legacy they need from the past so they can go on into the future make it a better and better place. So that someday, as, as Christ told his disciples as he walked this earth, someday we will see the kingdom of heaven come upon this earth. But remember, remember what he said when he talked to his disciples. On a regular basis he said to them, the kingdom of heaven is near. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Friends, we're living in the kingdom of heaven. Well, it's not fully understood and fully realized yet. But as we continue to teach, as we continue to, to sow those seeds, as we continue to remember those that have gone and the lessons that they taught us, including the lessons that go back into the Old Testament and the New Testament, all of those lessons, we 
we too can be planting a legacy that will bring the kingdom closer and closer. Until someday, someday, every knee could bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord for all the earth. Not just some places, not just little spots here and there, but the whole earth. I don't know whether I'll live to see that. I don't know whether you'll live to see that. But you know what? It's still worth working for. It's still worth striving for. It's still worth teaching those lessons of the past to those that will be the future. So that that future can grow brighter and brighter through the legacy that we leave. In the seed. What seed will you plant?